I wanted to, you know, show my support to all the people who are suffering in Ukraine. Iga Swiatek is currently ranked the number one tennis player by the Women's Tennis Association, or WTA. She's the youngest player to be ranked in the top 10. She was the winner of the French Open in 2020 and 2022. She's the first player who's representing Poland and won a Grand Slam title. By winning the Grand Slam, she became the youngest singles champion at the tournament. Previously, this record was owned by Rafael Nadal in 2005, and the youngest women's champion was Maria Sharapova in 2004. Sviantek prefers to play all over the court. She was named WTA Fan Favorite Singles Player of the Year in 2020 after winning the WTA Fan Favorite Shot of the Year in 2019 with a drop shot from the baseline. Iga Sviantek is not only number one in tennis, but she also has a good heart. Recently, Iga Sviantek announced that she will be organizing an event for raising charity. The charity will then go to the children of Ukraine. Some other famous names will also be present at the event. In this video, we'll talk about what number one tennis player Iga Sviantek is doing for the people of Ukraine, how she's been showing her support for Ukraine, and what she is planning to do in the future also. We will also talk about what other tennis players have done for showing support for Ukraine. Stay with us till the end of the video to find out this all. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. So without any further delay, let's get started. Charity Event Number one tennis player Iga Sviantek has announced her plans for a charity event she is going to organize. The purpose of this charity event would be to facilitate the children of Ukraine, especially those who are most affected by the Russia-Ukraine war. Iga Sviantek announced on social media that she will organize a charity event in the month of July 2022. The date would be the 23rd. The venue of the charity event would be in her country, Poland. The event will have some more popular faces from the world of tennis. Agnieszka Radwanska, Alina Svitolina, Sergei Stachowski, and Martin Pawlowski will also be present in the event alongside Iga Swiatek. The charity event will feature a mixed double match of these players. Iga Swiatek will be playing with Radwanski in a one-set singles exhibition. The umpire of both matches will be Alina Svitolina. I hope to see you in large numbers at Tauron Arena Krakow on television to demonstrate the power of sport when it unites us in helping and brings us at least a little joy," Sviantek said in a statement. The good thing about this charity event is that Svitolina and Stakovsky are Ukrainian natives. Then, she also announced the proceedings of the charity. She said, Total proceeds from the event will be donated to the support of children and teenagers affected by the war in Ukraine. Iga Sviantik is organizing the event with United24. Along with United24, Svitolina's Foundation and UNICEF Poland are also helping in organizing this charity event. The target of the organizers is to sell at least 10,000 tickets for the event. Iga Sviantek supporting Ukraine Organizing an event is not the only thing that Iga Sviantek has done for supporting Ukraine. She's been supporting Ukraine for a long time now. The 21-year-old Iga Sviantek has been wearing a pin that shows the colors of Ukraine flags on it. Iga Sviantek has also voiced her support for Ukraine previously at Qatar Open. She explained what many people are feeling. She said, I'd like to express my solidarity with everyone in Ukraine who is suffering. Seeing those images makes me very emotional. I couldn't imagine something like that happening in my own country. I hope everyone is safe in the end. Poland supporting Ukraine the country from where Iga Sviantek belongs, Poland, has been supporting Ukraine too. Over more than 4 million refugees fled from Ukraine and entered Poland. The reason why they've escaped the country is that Russia has invaded Ukraine. Poland is supporting Ukrainian refugees and providing them with free shelter, social and medical care, education and job opportunities. Other tennis players supporting Ukraine Russia's brutal attack on Ukraine has prompted many people to consider the value of unity and peace all over the world. People all over the world have been working to alleviate Ukraine's suffering. Several professional tennis players have recently begun to speak out about the devastating news. They've shifted the topic of conversation away from the professional success and towards the important issue at hand. Andrei Rublev, who is the number 6 ATP player, belongs from Russia. He has emphasized the importance of this topic. In an interview, he switched the conversation from his tennis match and said that it is not the most important thing right now. He said, You realize how important it is to have world peace, to respect one another no matter what, and to be united. 
We must take care of our planet and one another. This is the most crucial point. Even Rublev, who is from Russia, and Denis Molchanov, who is from Ukraine, partnered up for the ATP Tour 250 in France. They dedicated this match to the importance of peace and unity. Rublev explained his feelings by saying, You realize at this point that my match is unimportant. It's not about how my match affects me, because what is happening is far worse. You realize how important it is to have world peace, to respect one another no matter what, and to be united. Other than this, Rublev wrote a powerful message on the camera after his win at the tournament. No war, please. After writing this message, he received a huge round of applause from the audience. Daniel Medvedev, the current number one ATP player who is also a Russian, also spoke out. By being a tennis player, I want to promote peace all over the world, he says. In this way, he promoted the message with the same theme as that of Rublev. We play in a variety of countries. As a junior and a professional, I've traveled to numerous countries. Hearing all of this news is simply exhausting. Svitolina, on the other hand, has called out people to do more than just supporting and talking. She demanded people to come out and do activities to support the people of Ukraine. She said, We have a lot more power, and I believe that the tennis community can really help us understand what's going on and really help Ukrainian people. Ukrainian families who are struggling right now and losing soldiers. Innocent people who are just dying to defend their country. The Russia-Ukraine war has impacted many people around the world. There are many brave people who are not only speaking up for Ukraine, but also using their resources to help them practically. Former Ukrainian tennis pro Sergei Stokowski is one of those brave people. He's done a lot more than just speaking and showing sympathy. He has joined military in Ukraine to fight in the war and defend his country. In an Instagram post, Stokowski expresses his love and appreciation for his homeland, thanking his country, his president, the Ukrainian National Guard, and the Ukrainian military. Why is Russia-Ukraine war a big matter? Russia has invaded Ukraine in February 2022. The unprovoked, unjustified, and barbaric invasion of Russia on Ukraine has not only shattered peace in Europe, but also almost destroyed Ukraine. The attack has broken the entire security architecture built patiently on the continent over many decades, including international commitments agreed upon in the last 30 years. It is also a war against the West. Ukraine's suffering poses a moral challenge to Europe and the rest of the world. Human rights and the UN Charter have been violated, and Ukraine's values have been mocked. Procrastination is simply not an option. We believe that sports, particularly tennis, can bring people together regardless of nationality, race, gender, or ethnicity. We're happy to see so many great tennis players putting the game aside and using their platform to raise awareness of the real problems the world is facing right now. These professional players inspire students to believe and understand that their sport can be a powerful tool for speaking up and taking action to make the world a better place. It goes beyond health and entertainment, it's something bigger than that as portrayed by these professional athletes. This was all from the video, hope you all liked it. What are your thoughts on the things these tennis players are doing? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. See you again with another video on another topic. Till then, bye bye.